Hi, I'm Becky Norton from Kivalina, Alaska, and I'm happy to say that finally, after 64 years, I'm finally able to have running water with a toilet that I don't have to take out every day. I have a family of eight in my house, so this is awesome. There are many homes uh, in Alaska um, that are, remain unserved. And so, and, and it's likely that many of these homes will remain unserved, um, you know, for the foreseeable future. It's a demonstration project to look at an in-home sanitation solution. And, uh, and we're focused on really addressing some of the uh, most basic uh, health needs of the residents. Providing a source of safe drinking water a safe way to handle human waste and uh, in a way to to wash hands. The village is threatened by erosion. They're on this tiny little island right now and they'll be moved to the mainland someday. We had to build these things so that they can move with the home and the owner whenever that day comes. We have six kids, and this is our youngest. He likes the running water. Sometimes he leaves it on and just plays with the water. Before we had the tank, we had this little thing to wash our hands, and we would have to change it at least maybe 10 to 15 times a day. We wanted the the system to complement their lifestyle. Some of the residents rely on rainwater as an additional source, some melt ice, that type of thing, and, uh, and some simply go to the washeteria. And, uh, and so what we did is we provided a treatment system that allowed them to use those traditional sources to treat that water and to provide a source of safe water. So they'll have like a five gallon bucket down here with the hose and they can either hand pump it with this, here's the handle for a bigger pump, but they can hand pump it if they don't want to use electricity or they can flip a couple of valves and use this motor pump over here. And this part down here is the filter system that cleans the water. We've designed the whole system to be modular. And the idea there is that we're reducing the cost of construction. Uh, we assemble the units, we take them out. They're much quicker to install. So there are a number of homes in need. Uh, certainly we can do better than the honey bucket. You know, that, that's been a technology that's been in use um, for more than 40 years. And we really have done very little to improve on that technology. One of the best things we ever had in my whole life. This one gets thrown away. This is our past. 